Hi everybody, I'm still in Chicago, and I don't know if you know this, but Chicago is the birthplace of the skyscraper, and considered the most influential architectural city of the 20th century. So apart from all these tall buildings, there's the river of Chicago running through the city, and I thought today that we would mix a little bit of both, so let's go on the architecture river cruise. I'm on the boat now, the tour has started, and of course I want to be in the front, so let's go to the front of the boat. This has the best view. I think we're going to see a lot of great buildings on this tour. I'm super excited to learn more about when they were built and what they were built for and things like that, so I'm excited. Ah. <laughs> oh, that breeze feels lovely. I really like that there's a huge variety of different kind of skyscrapers. You have lots of buildings that look, you know, a lot older, and then you have the all glass ones that look super modern. So you get a mix of both, which makes the city really interesting. These are so lovely. I think these are like residential buildings and houses where people live. They also have really nice balconies facing the water. And these buildings were actually built on a dump in 2000. Land, look what they did to the place. That's amazing. Hey. Hey. <laughs> They're waving at me. Hi. <laughs> Everyone's so nice here. I love it. So here you can see some more of the residential buildings. Actually, what's cool about this building is that I feel like it's right on the water. So when you're in the window and you look down, there's nothing but water. There's no street or anything. So it's literally on the water. Very cool. In 1871, there was a huge fire here in Chicago that destroyed nine square kilometers of the city and over 100,000 people were left homeless. But because of that, they obviously had to rebuild all the buildings and houses. So they started building really tall buildings and that is why Chicago is the birthplace of the skyscrapers. And actually, the skyline is among the tallest and densest skylines in the entire world. This is such a majestic feeling. We're about to go under the bridge and go this way, so we're literally going in between all of the skyscrapers. Wow. They have some tall buildings here. Now this building is cool. This one is basically all glass. I have no idea how they build that. That's a mystery to me how they do that. I can't even imagine, but it looks beautiful. So this tallest building right here is called the Willis Tower. It used to be called the Sears Tower, and also it used to be the tallest building in the world between 1973 and 1998 until the Petrona Tower took over and became the tallest building. Well, that's such a cozy place. I love places like that. And you can find so many restaurants and cafes that are right on the water where you can just sit and have some food, enjoy the view. That has to be the best way to have lunch, right? I've seen so many of these water taxis here on the river and I just think that the idea of them is great because not only can you get to a place faster because of all the traffic going in an actual taxi that takes longer but also it's so much more environmental friendly so thumbs up to Chicago for doing that. I love that. So that building right there that looks kind of wavy uh, is called the Aqua Building. This one's called the Vista and they are the tallest buildings in the world made by a female architect so I love that. Yeah, so we're coming out towards the harbor right now, and if you go straight out there, that's Lake Michigan. And over on the left side here, there's something called the Navy Pier, which looks really fun. It has a big Ferris wheel. There are lots of rides that you can go on, hang out, and have lots of fun. So right next to downtown, you've got this huge beach over there where you can go swimming in the summertime, go boating. There's lots of fun stuff to do over there. I feel like I'm flying. The boat tour is over. I can't believe it finished already. It felt like it was only 10 minutes long and I would have loved to stay on even longer because I had the most amazing time. But, time to get off.
So I decided to take a walk here along the river. It's actually really nice and you get a great view from here. The city of Chicago built this walkway in 2001 and it's the perfect way to get away from the traffic and all the people and just walk in peace. I like this part of the river walk. This looks really cozy with all the lights. This area is super fun. You can play some games here. They have the nice lights over here as well. There's some games over here. And then like a little restaurant and bar where you can order something to eat and drink. Also perfect location right by the water. It's nice to be able to hang out here by the river and just relax, you know. Even though Lake Michigan is over there and you have that big beach, sometimes you just want to sit down and have a drink, and this is the perfect spot for that. Today has been really amazing, and I loved seeing all the buildings here in Chicago. I think it's a beautiful city. I want to know which city is the most beautiful city that you know and why. Please comment below. The winner is going to get this Chicago pencil case. And in the next episode, I'm going to visit the hip area Wicker Park here in Chicago. So I'll see you then. Bye.